Steve Bannon has long left the Connecticut shores, but his boat still remains. It's believed to be here in Bridgeport at the Steel Point Harbor because it may be the only port in the state that can house the boat. Now, one thing is for sure, wherever the boat goes, it's become the center of attention. When I saw this thing, I was like, what the heck? Eddie Javier was driving along 95 North when he caught a glimpse of the Lady May docked in Steel Point Harbor. Hit the brakes, pulled over, hit the flashers, pulled out. I was about to jump out of the car. He, like many others, were drawn to the 151-foot boat that has become a national headline. I think it's cool. I love boats. But then to find out the story behind it, it, was, it just made it even better, more hysterical. Former special advisor to the president, Steve Bannon, was aboard the boat Thursday when he had been taken into custody by the United States Postal Inspection Service. Deckhands could be seen removing boxes and garbage from the boat. Two others in black were spotted taking photos. The postal investigators would not confirm an investigation of the boat. The Coast Guard and Bridgeport police say they are unaware of why the boat is docked in the harbor. That boat stood out like a sore thumb. Right off. That, you could tell that's not from around here. Bannon and the Lady May had been anchored about a mile off the coast in Westbrook since Monday. Curious residents snapped these pictures while trying to get a closer look. I obviously didn't know what was going on and who was being arrested, but once the news broke and I saw that, it was uh, very surprising. Bannon and three others are accused of defrauding a fundraising campaign to build a wall along the southern border. In June of 2019, Bannon joked of pocketing the money from the cause. He has pled not guilty to the charges. Uh, Brian Kofax, he took all that money from build the wall. It's still unknown how long the boat will remain here in Bridgeport. Until then, it will still be an attraction for curious onlookers. In Bridgeport, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.